and the deaths of more than 9,000 innocent people, most of whom are women and children. What we are now witnessing is the terrible consequences of the world's inaction and the complicity of governments, again including our own, in Israel's crimes. This is not just a crisis for the Palestinian people, it's actually a crisis for all the world and what humanity stands for. What we're also seeing is the sight of huge numbers of people in every country right across the world standing up for Palestine and against their government and saying, not in our name. We demand a ceasefire now. Um, it's just calling on the Labour Party to call for a ceasefire, for Keir Starmer to um, retract and apologise for his comments, and just kind of along those lines. But yeah, feel free to come up to me and sign this. If it's violence and the evil killing of children happening right now. And has, as an Egyptian, I am horrified at my Arab Muslim brothers and sisters being killed senselessly, being dehumanized by the world's media. Um, a few days ago, I felt really guilty because I thought, I'm just literally getting out of bed and I'm going across literally two steps away to my bathroom to use water to be able to get ready for prayers. What are they doing? 